Hey guys, it's Sarah with Grassroots Evolution Tarot. Thank you for being here today. This is a message for the sign of Cancer for November 2021. So take what you feel resonates with you. Disregard the rest. Go about your day. And know that no matter what messages do come through, it's still up to you, my friends. Your active free will, the chances you take and the steps you take in this world to get whatever your fulfillment it is you'd like to see. To me, that's personal freedom. It's personal power and it's something that lies at the tips of your fingers and at the soles of your feet. So use that power wisely, my friends. For all my subscribers as well, big shout out to you guys. I love you, love you, love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here again. And if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. If you feel like you'd like to see more of my reading, if you dig my vibe, please hit subscribe. Join the journey with me. I'd love to have you along this ride. So before I get into the cards as well, take... Like I said, keep in mind it's general, and I'm also going to take a moment to call in spirit. So I'm going to ask Archangel Michael, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Gabriel, as well as my team of light, and any of your spirit guides that would be here for the highest good of the entire collective to join us. I'm going to ask them to guide, guard, bless, and protect myself this reading, and any of you guys who would ask for it to use me as the clearest channel, as well as to... Um, get messages out there that are for the most farthest reaching, okay? So if you like this message, help me out, smash the like button, I truly appreciate it, or let me know in the comments how you feel, I'd love to hear from you as well. So I'm going to get in first, what was spirit? They're like, weirdly enough for this reading, guys, I called spirit in while I was shuffling, and I don't usually, I, I light the candle because I help, I feel like it helps remove negative energy, and I have like a um, sage incense here, white sage incense. I like it better than the smell of sage. However, this thing doesn't want to light, so I just want to take a moment to clear the space. I already have cleared the space, and while I was, like, talking in my intro, I kept hearing, they were like, no, 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 you already called us in, and we're ready to tell you what to do, and they were like, honestly, clear our light field. So, Right away, Spirit was saying meditation. Um, one thing that I like to do is take three deep breaths in and breathing in white light, okay? Breathing in love and light. So love through our mouth into our heart chakra, white light down and through our crown. Take your shoes off if you'd like to, spread your toes apart, feel them root into the ground. Because what was really interesting here as well is I brought in, I wanna tell you guys, I brought in the um, Keepers of the Light Oracle Okay, I, would, I was honestly so drawn to do this. The Heaven and Earth Tarot, and then we have the Earth Magic Tarot. So this is so balanced. There's a lot about Root Chakra here as well. Um, a lot about really staying grounded and staying grounded in our heart space. And I heard some of us may be going through a lot of turmoil with our heart space. There could be a lot of changes happening around us. And it's stuff that really hurts, you know, stuff that's really difficult. And my friends... Um, Sorry, this camera's bugging me. But I feel like this is time to really harness and channel your power, you know, and to remember that true strength lies in showing our emotions, being true to ourself. So, you know, I heard if you need to cry for some of you, take that time. If you're going through a lot of stuff, you know, don't hold it all in. Because um, when we hold it all in, we're actually delaying our healing process. So for some of you, it's not going to be tears. You may want to journal it. You may need to do something like exercise or work out to kind of channel the feelings or to channel whatever's going on to kind of just pour it into that rather than wallowing or being stuck in our grief okay and wallowing not in a bad way okay it's just I think sometimes we get stuck there and this is how we get ourselves out we get ourselves out we get out for a shower we have a walk we go to work we do something once a day one thing a day that you love so this could even for some of you I heard be cook dinner okay don't get takeout take half an hour a day and pour your love into your food if food is um for you because remember what I also heard is food is medicine so I have here pyrite it's my sons but they're really wanting me to show you when I heard is fool's gold there's a few different messages too guys because when I was hearing this um starting to get ready for this I heard leave the past behind you and 2018 November 2018 was also on the slip of my tongue there was another one the last one I did was Taurus and November 18 was significant there I heard it I think for a lot of us and I know myself and if you guys have followed along with me for a while you're probably on this place too where 2018 marked a significant point in a standpoint and a turning point of personal power 
right? And I feel like personal freedom as well as what I'm hearing, these things are really important. And it's really important that you do exercise your personal freedom. And if there's something in the past that is still, we're dragging it behind us, you know, cut it loose, my friends, because you're going to find it a whole lot easier to move forward without, you know, the chains and the shackles and shit dragging. Um, for some of you, this is past life stuff. This is like karma, um, removing trauma as well. So I think it's really important uh, with the light, taking those breaths. So if you guys want to do that with me right now, I apologize if I'm all over the place. The messages are coming through and I'm trying to get it out in the most clear way possible. But sometimes I do struggle with that as well. So if you want to take your shoes off, we're going to do this quick breathing exercise now. It's not going to take too long, but just be really open. And if there's any thoughts or feelings that come up during this, um, if you feel any of your energy centers, where are they? What's going on? Are they associated with the thought? Just be really in the present when you're doing this. And thing is, meditation, it some of us have a hard time doing it, but it doesn't have to be really long. It's just even a few seconds or a few minutes with our breath space and connecting to heaven and being grounded into earth and we're here in this physical plane. We're the we're we're the whole reason we're here, okay? So this is this us I think is really important because I think this is our soul level, right? Not just our body. That when we're doing this, we really are being connected mind body and soul we are removing the day what I heard there's toxic traits some of us I feel like too because we I am I'm on the cusp of Gemini and Cancer guys so Cancer being a crab we stick to our own home is our place right and I feel like it's really important because also I heard our heart and I was really guided last minute to bring in this is Garnet my hubby got me um, a couple years ago and it's in the raw and if you've seen garnet before it's really really gorgeous but I love this because it just looks like a heart so focus on your heart focus on your heart's desires and focus on the things that make you feel happy the things that make you feel wealthy without having to acquire any actual money you know it's home is where the heart is as well so funny with the keepers of the light oracle I brought in the this rose quartz my sister bear got me I love you if you watch um, we also have here the a Jade Buddha that I gave to my mom. I brought back from Korea, South Korea, and I gave it to her. And for some reason, I was, can I have it back? You know, just one of these things where it was I was really drawn to him. And when I was pre shuffling today, this Keeper of the Light Buddha was at the bottom. Who's at the bottom now? Diana with focused intention. She's been in a few of the readings as well. But I don't know what this is called. But I was. Other than like witch's finger, you may want to look it up if you do, whoop, drop in it. But if you let me know in the comments if you know the other name for it. But I think that it was really important even with this because then I was like, why? I had to grab more rose quartz. So, and I brought my big, big rose quartz in. There's a lot about self-love and healing right now. And again, dropping the burdens of the past because we're moving forward into the present, my friends. So let's get some messages for the Keepers of the Light Oracle. Thank you. Anything else before I stop shuffling? Thank you. You have Kusumi with the Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. And it's funny because this, I haven't seen the card yet, and it is Lady Nada with Heart Awakening. Awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. For some of you, I heard this is a real turning point because some of that baggage and some of that stuff we've been holding on to. Bottoms Archangel Michael. <laughs> some of that stuff we've been holding on to, it's been since childhood and it's stuff that's informed of us of our work. And I think it's a really important time now that we're connecting in and understanding our worth. Archangel Michael, I um, he's, he's one of my guides. I, I always call on Archangel Michael and I think I've picked him up since I was 13. Um, Michael's always been a name that I've loved as well and I think it's just because I carry him with me. 
And you can too. Ask Archangel Michael to guard you. This is the thing is that I remember at the beginning, you know, 2018, wondering like, why would Archangel Michael want to talk to me? It's because he is on this journey of his own. He is the warrior angel and he's going to protect you to remember that you are safe. Angels are close. Our angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to happen. If we have, especially if it's anxiety, or if there's a lot of unknowns and a lot of uncertainties, if you feel you need protection, call in Archangel Michael. This blue, this blue calcite, okay? But this gorgeous, gorgeous blue here, this is the truth. And also, when I, when I, one of the things that I started channeling at the time was you are safe, you are protected, and you are loved. So if you are having an anxiety attack, if you're channeling, like it could even be like other people's energy around you as well, or like a panic attack, if something hits you out of nowhere, what I heard is ground yourself. So because I keep ignoring Archangel Michael to do the breathing, and I keep telling you we're going to do it, let's take our first deep breath in, open your hands up so... I also want you guys, especially if you're attuned to Reiki, what I heard is you're going to feel this more. But open your hands up. Take a deep breath in. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out with love. I want you guys to imagine white light coming down in through your crown. So I have selenite here, guys. Imagine this color, okay? Imagine this color, white light coming down into your crown. Your crown, you're breathing in life force energy, your chi, okay, you're breathing in this good ass prana, baby, whatever you want to call it, but breathe in some air and oxygenate your lungs, get the blood flow moving to your body, and when we're going to breathe in this love from spirit, we're rooting our feet in, I think I'm also going to bring some rose quartz here with some focused intention from Diana showing up, so let's take another deep breath in. Know that you are loved. Breathe in that good energy. Breathe in that white light through the crown. Feel it move down through your body. Breathe out and exhale anything that is negative or inauthentic and not of love out into the world to be transmitted now. And the last one. This is really important. This time when you take this breath in, breathe into your heart. Imagine this heart space being cleaned or healed or cleared. All of the energy, oh man, and there's it's lightning, okay? It's lightning, lightning, not lightning, but lightning too, because I think that this is powerful and that once this healing, my intention is this healing that I'm experiencing is going to you, that this energy is going to you. So if you're willing and open to accept it, I share my light with you, my friends. Let's deeply breathe in this time, breathing in love. Breathing in light, breathing in pink straight into your heart chakra. They're talking about your aura too. Ask Archangel Michael to guard you, to guide you throughout your life, to bless you. Know that you are blessed and you are worthy of those blessings, my friends. So if there's any places where we're allowed untrusting or built up walls in our heart, let's take a deep breath in, acknowledge them. Imagine yourself in this space acknowledging you and you guys giving both together your past self and your new self, your heart a hug, saying we're going to treat you right this time and let's release anything that is still hurting or tearing it up inside to release it with love out into the world to be transmuted. Sometimes we just need to overcome these things to learn our lessons and you're going to be catapulted because all of a sudden what you've wanted is here and I heard happiness and what we need to remember is that we're going to be safe to have this we're not going to have the ball drop or the carpet or anything ripped out from under you this is yours for the taking so allow yourself to give and receive in balance allow yourself to open up and really honor your heart accept your heart and this also what I heard is accepting other people as well but that you are, you, are, you are safe and you're protected. So with the cloak of wisdom as well, you already know the answer you seek. Trust in yourself. 
I'm going to ask some tarot wisdom now from the tarot of the heaven and earth tarot. So let's get some tarot wisdom here, spirit. Archangel Michael probably has surrounded you as well for a very long time. And many of you already know that. But if you've forgotten or if this is new to you, just see what the energy feels like if you feel like calling him on. Ask him to be here for your highest good. Um, his whole thing, it keeps showing you. Surrender your concerns. Imagine if you will, if you need to, that you're packing all these worries and all that crap you've been dragging around in the... I can just see shot like you're dragging like a belt. Like a metal belt. With chains to it. Dragging something. Whatever the fuck that is. Imagine that's being taken off you. And give it to him. Ask him. Ask Archangel Michael to take it away. To help unburden you. And to help those fears kind of subside. Because all that stuff, that's not... I don't see it in a good light. Swiftness with the Eight of Wands comes in. And this is the only card that came in. And it flew, right, when I was saying to snip that stuff and give it to him. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> But also listen to yourself, because you already know the answer you seek. You already know what's going on. And there's a lot of, um, they want me to show you the castle. I don't know if you can, but there is a castle back in here in the distance. And it's like, for some of you, there's royals. I was also hearing and listening to the um, Immortals by Fall Out Boy from Big Hero 6 today. And it's like... We could be immortals, we are immortals, but just not for long because each time we're incarnating. So I think it's also important though to remember that even though we have such a short span of time on this earth, and it's not saying you're going to have a short span, my friends, you will live long and prosper. Um, but it's about this time on this earth plane in this incarnation. Our, our spirit, we're here to gain experience and we have a mission to share throughout this world. Throughout this universe and our souls are infinite, my friends. We we have traveled the heavens, we have traveled the far seas, we have done the unthinkable and the impossible, and we've done this many, many times. Our soul has an essence. So wear this cloak of wisdom, not about what this 3D world and the constraints and the confines or who we we want to present ourselves out to be in this world. You here you have the two of cups be who you need to be to make you happy not to please someone else because know that if we do that we will have um, consequences the law of cause and effect so if we decide to do that then we're going to have to make those lessons up and be it this lifetime or be it the next so I feel like there's a real importance here as well with trusting and awakening our heart that wonderful, wonderful love exists for you. There is happiness. And I, I heard even if we are feeling grief, it's also to be aware of that there were still good things. Um, for some of you, I heard eulogy, right? Don't wait until... You have to write a eulogy to tell some of the good things about them. But not only that, it's that those are people's eulogies. This is what people remember, the essence of them, right? Who they were, what they did. Well, they did cool things, but it's usually just how much love that we possess for the soul that is no longer there. Because in those moments, we remember and we know that that's a body, but the soul is gone. Um, I feel like it's going to definitely change for religious and how you believe. But across the board, that's that's a belief, right? That our soul is it moves on. So, um, also a song I heard, which is like my favorite, is Heaven and Hell by Black Sabbath. But it's Ronnie James Dio singing, not Ozzy. Um, underneath that you got the king of wands so there's also I think why I'm hearing that 
is because whatever this is that's dropping off of us, there's a fly flying around. And, you know, they don't find it until I record. I think it's weird. But whatever. If it blurs out, I'm sorry, guys. But I think that whatever those chains and shackles, oh, my God. Can you see this lion? He's chained. So the thing is, this is an improper show of strength, right? Tame the beast, sure. Make it walk through fire, but chain it. So not trusting of loyalty as well. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign, okay? Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. This could be a man with or a masculine um, energy with a lot of fire and a lot of passion. I heard there could be like a lot of heated sexual energy as well. And you have earned success. Now this did show up in the reverse. I'm gonna flip it over and say pay attention to the birds as well as the noises that they make. Like this is the six of swords. And when you see it in the upright, it's moving on. But it's also what I heard is these are messenger spirits and guardian spirits. And there could be messages from the angels as well coming through in these birds. So pay attention because you are divinely protected. Um, and I think that this six of this six of swords being in the reverse, it's because, like I was saying, whatever it is, those chains and shackles with heaven and hell that I'm hearing, like, um, whatever they are, if, if we still have them tied to us, we can't experience what's supposed to happen with the newness. We're going to stay stuck. And it doesn't mean it has to be all at once, and this healing is a messy business, my friends. It comes back, and you think it doesn't. It wouldn't. Um, and we there's constantly layers of understanding to what's going on and why why we experience these things and what lessons it was meant to taught us and the up level each time. For some of you, I heard uprise as well. Strength card is here. Definitely could be a Leo energy, but what's better about this card, okay, is that the King of Wands has to control this beast. Whereas, not so. It is a even give and take. I heard she is his protector and vice versa. He's beat up. And I'm thinking about um, my cat, you know. My cat, there was some big... I mean, huge stray cat. There's been a lot of uh, new neighbors lately. So it could be any number of places this cat's come from. It's big. It looks like it's been in the house for a while. And my cat uh, was getting really protective of our kitten and was about to pounce. I chased the cat away, but it still had like that energy of um, not good. So just be aware as well of... Uh, any negative or psychic energy that you may feel because I definitely picked up on that that cat whatever this cat was um, it was an energy that my cat was trying to keep away so just so that's for somebody that or why I would share that so we have the one two three ten of Pentacles with wealth here and you have four of pentacles with earthly path for some of you i heard you're saving up or um that you're about there will be a lot of wealth for you in this world or coming to you um for some of you i also heard that you're set up um i think for some of you this is also like for some of you this four i don't remember if it was in the reverse i kind of think it was but it's like you may want to keep this to yourself for a while and like not tell everybody or not tell anybody because um, what I heard is as well, like you don't want, you know your worth, right? So not to allow people to bully you or try and find ways to take something that is not theirs from them. But I think there's such an importance here. This could be romantic love, but I think this is also this, the heart space. It means a beautiful card. Right? But it's this heart space um, of knowing as well, like how to go after our passions and how to express sometimes very heated emotions without burning the place down and without um, being confined or confining someone else or having someone feel restrained. But this is also for you, I feel like as well, where wherever those are, because I see you in this card as the lion. Right? Not... 
don't don't take it personally but it's more that like that image of the chain and the shackle because that's what I see that this guy I mean he's strong and whatnot but I just need to pause you guys okay guys I'm back I have to go get my son because he's been sick to his tummy at school so what I'm gonna do is pull one more card is a um, just overall advice moving forward for you and the message you got was fog and what I heard is there's also veil here but pay attention you know let the sun rise a little bit um, you have stillness don't act too fast don't act too hasty fire under there as well with winter solstice for some of you this is timing as well that this it could be a partnership too you're going to find um, then but you, I think it's also that when during the time of winter solstice, this is really a time to um, begin anew, right? Release what you need to on those dark days, when those dark nights, and um, be reborn for real in the spring. So you have invocation here. For me, this is Colin, Archangel Michael, but this is ceremony as well. What you do matters um, spiritually. And you have tsunami under here, wake up call was submerged. For some of you as well, things that have been um, sub kept in your subconscious for a while, if you're starting to feel them come up, if you're hurt, some of you heard rage, some of us get anxiety or panic attacks, this could be PTSD coming up or, um, you know, even other things, but it could be just our mental, state of our mental health as well at the time. But just kind of taking in a moment to be calm before releasing negative energies and connecting with spirit every day just um, to kind of clear your energy field. So that's what I have. I hope that this resonates. I love you all. And I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.